Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I replaced my VVT solenoids in my 2001 325i. So I'm going to show you how to replace the intake and the exhaust sides because all the other videos that I saw, they just cover the intake side, which is really easy to get to. It's right there up top, but the exhaust side seems to be the one that fails more often. So I think that this video will be really useful for that. What happens is they get gummed up. Just the way that this solenoid kind of sits in an angle at the engine, it's much more likely for old oil and sludge to kind of pool up in here in the solenoid. And then over time, if there's some sludge in there, this little uh, silver plunger thing isn't able to move freely, it can cause the coils to have to work harder inside this electromagnet and then just ultimately burn out. So in my case, mine did need to be replaced and uh, I replaced it with a junkyard unit and it's been working great ever since. Brand new, these seem to run quite a bit, even online, so I would recommend going to a junkyard to get this. Anytime I've ever gone to a junkyard for my car, I've never left empty-handed. There's a lot of these older BMWs in there, and, uh, and more than likely you're going to find one that functions just fine, and it's probably not going to cost you more than 5 or 10 bucks. Another thing worth mentioning is when I had my check engine light for the P0014 code, my gas mileage was way lower. I was getting about 19 in the city and 25 on the freeway. After doing the repair, I'm getting back up to 32 on the highway and about 24 in town, which is what I was always accustomed to before this failed on me. So even if you don't live in a place where you have to get smog checks done on your car, it's still worthwhile to do this considering how cheap these are at a junkyard. It will more than make up for the gas savings over a few tanks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our cooling fans. If you have an automatic transmission, it's going to be a little more complicated. Mine's a manual, so it's really easy. Alright, here's a look at the two connectors we're going to need to unplug for the camshaft position sensor and the solenoid. Here is the socket that I got from AutoZone and used to do this. Okay, and here's my setup with the 3 8 inch ratchet, the adapter to go into the half inch for the socket, and then my pipe that I fit over the end of the ratchet. Now when it comes time to taking it off, if you need to get more leverage and you don't have a pipe that you can fit over the end of your ratchet, uh, you can also take a box wrench and go ahead and slip it over the end. and then. Here's another way that you can get some extra leverage. The angle that it creates now for, for giving us more torque is actually a little better. This should actually make it to where you don't have to worry about uh, clearing the wiper fluid reservoir as much. So as you can see, it's a very tight fit there to get everything lined up in a matter where you can break it loose. But once you get it broken loose, you can just go ahead and unscrew it by hand and make sure you put some uh, paper, paper towels or whatever on your coolant hoses so you don't drip any oil onto them. And here's a look in the uh, cylinder there where the solenoid pushes in on that valve. And on the top one I was actually able to get it loose just using an adjustable wrench. And I also recommend doing this on a cold engine. It'll make it a little easier to get stuff loose and you won't be burning your hands like I was. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean those pistons that the solenoid pushed in on. I don't know that it was really, really necessary to do, but I went ahead and did it anyway. And I also sprayed some brake cleaner up into the cylinder there and uh, cleaned it with a toothbrush. I just wanted to make sure everything was as clean as possible and that the Vanos wouldn't have any issues down the road. Now for cleaning the solenoids, if you're not gonna replace them, you definitely wanna get a healthy amount of brake cleaner in there and really shake them and make sure you can hear that little piston in the solenoid moving freely. When I first pulled mine out, I could not hear that sound at all and it was completely plugged up. And we're just gonna put them back in there, tighten them down. 
And there you have it.